and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about three good things, three good things, which is a hashtag that I use on Twitter most days and it's something that a few people have asked me to explain um, and it's also something that you might find to be really useful yourself. So the origin of three good things was a lecture I went to with Marty Seligman who is a uh, professor of positive psychology and he cited some evidence um, which well, let's just say he's controversial. Some people think he's amazing, some people not so much. But he cited some evidence that uh, when people kept a kind of gratitude journal and each day they noted three things for which they were grateful for and why, um, that this had a positive impact on their well-being. And when people in a control group did not do that, there was no positive impact on their well-being. So he found it to be a very, very simple task um, and that people liked to do it and many of them continued doing it even after the experiment ended. So that was kind of the origin of it. Um, I've kind of taken it, adapted it and turned it into a very Twitter-friendly way of doing things. So we have the hashtag, three good things, which was really not being used before. And each day I basically list one, two, three things which I am grateful for or have made me smile. I... Um, I'm a fan of KonMari. We'll talk about Marie Kondo and KonMari another time. Um, but I like the term spark joy. Um, so I will tend to list three things that for me that day have sparked a little bit of joy in whatever way. It might be a smell, a sound, a sight, something I've done, something's done, on, someone's done for me, an experience. It can be literally anything from the tiniest thing through to something absolutely massive. Um, and some days you might be grateful for a similar thing that you've been grateful for in the past, and that's fine. Um, I like also, where possible, to include pictures or videos um, and I also keep my three good things in a Twitter moment so you can kind of compile them all um, and sometimes I look back through them. Now what's been really great about three good things is that so every day I share or I try every day to share this tweet which will say you know three good things and then list them one two three perhaps with a picture or video and then at the end I just write yours question mark and lots of people reply and increasingly more and more and more people are sharing their three good things every day. Now some days I'm having a really bad day and I can't think of any good things and that's really tough and so what I'll sometimes say then is like I need inspiration what are your three good things and I'll tweet that out and then people share their three good things and actually for me that really lifts me a little bit finding the little parts of other people's days that made them smile made them happy. The other benefit of doing three good things kind of daily is that it makes you just keep an eye out for little things that you might otherwise not have noticed. So, I don't know, the way it feels when your child holds your hand as you cross the road, um, your dog running into the house with muddy paws, and instead of seeing that as an oh no moment, just actually finding it a little bit funny. Um, the postman chasing you down the street in your car and flagging you down and giving you your post um, because he had a sign for delivery you'd have otherwise had to have driven out and gotten. You know, it, it's all sorts of little things. Um, the way that dew looks on a flower, the crunch of frost under your feet, um, the smell of an open fire in my in-laws house. There's just so many. Um, and you can be as, imag as imaginative or not as you want. But yeah, long and short, basically, it is something which I find to be a really nice little focus each evening. It makes me realise little things I'm grateful for. And I like doing it myself online, on Twitter, because I love sharing them with people. It holds me to account, uh, makes me more likely to do it. But more than that, I love, love, love seeing everyone else's three good things as well. And the nicest thing is when other people are finding it hard and either they get a little bit of inspiration from the three good things that others are sharing or they say, oh, it's been a really hard day, I can only find one. But do you know what? If you find one, that's a really, you know, really good thing. And sometimes then the response they get from people becomes a, a further good thing. So yeah, three good things. It's simple, it's easy, um, it's really nice. If you're not a Twitter person, if you don't want to do this online, then actually you, places like Paper Chase now sell gratitude journals and you can list these three th good things every day. Um, you can obviously just do it yourself, do it on your computer or in any kind of journal. And some people like to do it in a more long form fashion. So you might write a bit more in depth about the three good things. Um, but yeah, for me, I like to keep it short and simple. I like to share it and um, like to get it out there. And I do like to look back on the things I've been grateful for in the past. So massive thanks to everyone who joins in with three good things. Please keep on joining in with that. And if you haven't given it a go before, give it a try. You might find you find it helpful too. 
Okay, until next time, I hope you found this helpful. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried doing three good things and how you found it. Um, and if you want to hear more from me, then please subscribe. And if you liked what you saw today, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye.